Some of us have a few extra pounds we want to lose before swimsuit season. Ken Harvey has some personal trainers ready to get you fit for summer. Thank you guys. I'm here with Steve Warren and Andrew Tiu, and they're both trainers with the 100 Citizens Program. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thanks. I know it's hot out here, Andrew, but uh, I'm going to have you work out and warm up for a little bit, and then we'll get back to you in a couple minutes. All right. All right. So in the meantime, uh, Steve, can you explain to me what does the fact of inactivity have on someone? So obesity is usually a huge trend. Um, everyone kind of knows this. Everyone kind of understands that aspect. But the biggest idea is that with physical inactivity, uh, you'll increase more body fat percentage. I used to work in a gym, so I know people ask you guys this question a lot, uh, but what happens when someone comes in and they say that they just want to get toned? There's two basic principles, and that's exercise and that's diet. Uh, the amount of calories you consume has to be equal to the amount of calories you burn or greater. It's a combination between diet and exercise and resistance training, which is part of it. How important is diet when you're trying to lose weight? 60% of everything you do in the gym is geared towards how you look and the rest is 40 percent which is your diet so if you can control what you eat variability you should be able to uh, control how you look and how you feel for the long run and longevity okay would you recommend somebody move more and eat less or not so much combination <laughs> so unfortunately we can't have one without the other so it's a kind of like a marriage uh, if you eat well that doesn't necessarily mean you'll have the perfect body and definition um, if you exercise a lot, doesn't mean you'll also have a nice body or a perfect definition. So that's the variability between both diet and exercise. Would you recommend somebody that's just getting back into the gym do that same kind of workout, or should they do a different one? Going back to the gym, obviously you want to go start off light, but the idea is to target those major muscle groups, such as your quads, your back, uh, your chest. Uh, that's, that'll produce maximum caloric expenditure. In other words, you burn the most calories and thereby creating much more of a physique for that person. So in general, you should always mix it up. You should never do the same exercise over and over, even if it was what you used to do traditionally. Okay. And I know you guys have designed a workout for us. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish or what do you think we will accomplish by doing your workout? So this is more for like a, almost like a beach body. So he's going to perform a squat. So the way he kind of looks here, he's going to have his hands forward for me. And he's going to flex at his hips. He's going to bring his butt all the way back and bring flex at his knees until they become nice and parallel. And he's going to come back straight up and come back down. So he's going to be able to do this for about 8 to 12 repetitions, a little faster for me, Andrew. Two, and we'll say that's five, seven, and do one more, eight. So right after that exercise, we have him come down to a push-up position. So just like your traditional push-up, and he's going to do mountain climbers for about a minute to where his knees will come all the way up towards his chest area. He's what always going to keep mountain climbers good for? Uh, mountain climbers are good for a metabolic, so good cardiovascular. Are you going to stand up for me now, Andrew, after that's about a minute? So next thing we're going to do is you go straight back into that same exact workout. So he's going to come all the way up. You're going to push all the way up, Andrew, all the way performing. He's going to have his arms fully locked out, and he's going to come back down nice and slow. He's going to rose. He has a nice, soft knees, butts back a little bit, chest is up, and he's going to pull back for me. There you go. And he's going to retract the scap, or he's going to pull right here. So you can pretend that there's a pencil right here. He's going to pull back. So you'll notice that his elbows are nice and tightly pushed into his side. Mm -hmm. So all the force is coming back here. So you'll say you do about 8 to 12 repetitions again. We'll call that 10, and we'll call that 12, and you'll relax with me, Andrew. He's going to bring his seats nice and high. So you can either do this nice and slow, mm -hmm. or if you want, you can pick up the pace for people a little bit more advanced. And you do that for another minute. So it kind of works 8 to 12 repetitions of one exercise, one minute of some kind of cardio. It doesn't have to be the ones we do. You can do taps, anything to keep on increasing that heart rate. All right, thank you guys so much for showing us a great workout to get in fit in time for summer. Thank you, Ken. And to learn more, you can visit 100citizens.org.